Hey everyone, in the previous video I taught you how to remove data either by passing it into the remove method, you would pass the exact data, or you could use del and use an index to remove the data. But now I'm going to teach you another method and that is actually the pop method. So if you say workdays.pop, you can see this takes an index, so it's similar in nature to the del operator that we just learned. So let's go ahead and throw in a 5 here, but the magical thing here is it returns some data. And what is that data? Well, it's actually whatever data is at the index you pass in. We're passing in a five, so we're gonna get the value Saturday. So what we could do is we could do something with that data, such as assign it to a variable. We can say popped, and we can do something with that data that's returned. So for example, we can print it by saying something like this. We just removed, and then pass in popped running this and it says we just removed Saturday. Later on, I would like to try to use this technique to do something called backtracking. So imagine you're going through a maze and you go the wrong direction and then you end up going back to where you started and going somewhere else. Well, this concept can be described in programming as backtracking and using the pop method and stacks, we can do something very cool like this. So I actually did this in Java in another series where we created a maze solver and pretty much if you took a wrong path, you would back up and pop that data off of the stack and go a different way. So you can see that code if you want in my GitHub, in my maze solver class, in my 30 days of Java, but pretty much it looks like this. You pop some data off and say we moved back and you can keep doing that within a loop while true. So if it's not a valid path, then you just go backwards. So that's just kind of a future site of what we might be doing in this Python series. But don't feel like you need to understand all that right now. We'll get into it later. Just for now, know that this can be used to get rid of data out of a list and return it so we can assign it to a variable, or we could just print it directly by taking this and putting it inside the print statement. Next up, I wanna take a step back and talk about del again. So we can actually use this to remove slices of a list, and it's actually pretty useful. So stay tuned for that and be sure to subscribe. Guys, hear that train? Probably not, it's far away, but there's a train outside. 